to video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial for Illustrator CC 2014, I'm going to show you how you can use artboards to chop up an image. And I'm going to show a few examples of this, showing uh, all you of course do pass and other things. So, first thing to do, got some artboards here. You can see artboards, this is the artboard panel. And I've got a spacing of a couple of pixels between them. What I'm going to do, I've got an image here, and I'm just going to edit and copy and I'm going to paste that in on top of those artboards so paste right obviously you could uh, I'm going to pull it out a bit scale it and it's going to be over all of those artboards so you've got all those artboards there now what you do next you can actually go to file and export and I'm going to go back to desktop and PNG where I'm going to actually export them to. And I'm just called pick one. So pick one, export. And I'm going to use artboards. That's the key thing here. And I want all. I mean, I, I could actually just say have artboard eight or nine. Just obviously have one or two of them. I'm going to have them all. So PNG format. I'm going to call it pick one. It's going to go to a folder PNG. So it come up with a options. So now that will just quickly write all those options. Uh, the files takes a few seconds. I actually need to go now to my finder, and you can see already it's just quickly building up those files. Obviously, it takes a few minutes, seconds. And I'm just going to run through those now. So you can just see now you've actually got the image broken up into little fragments. And of course, you don't have to use nine you could use 19 or 20 or 50 whatever artboard and then break the image apart up into sort of small little chunks now i'm going to just quickly show you I've done, once i've done that so i've got pick one there go to it and you can also just go to here rearrange artboards i'm going to say rearrange artboards on this artboards panel and i don't want eight now between it i actually want say I can go for 30 instead. So, okay. So you actually make a bit of bigger, and I'm going to zoom out. So, navigator, navigator, zoom out a bit. So you've got a bit more space, and you can see you can actually. And of course, you don't have to use all of them. I mean, you can just just use maybe two, four with that space as well. So again, I can go now, and of course, you've got it obviously slight bit over there. So again, I can go to File and Export. And maybe, like I say, I can use, I can't remember which ones they're going to be, so I'm just going to go for all of them. And I'm just going to call this Pick 2. The key thing is always, always remember to use Artboard. For some weird reason, it just defaults back to not using Artboard. So All, and that's it. So now Pick 2, PNG. Again, do the same. And it will go and write those PNG files. And I'm going to go back to the finder, and you can just see it's been created there. So actually, at that point, you've got obviously different parts of the image, and some obviously most parts of the image will just be a very narrow bit of the image there. And of course, you could maybe rotate the image, maybe duplicate the image, and overlap and create a number of variations. So you don't have to go straight like that. You could just go have it rotated as well, and then have that exported. Okay, just go like that. So you get a really unusual cut up or chopped up image, obviously, of any file you place in there. Hope you found this of interest.